Hello everyone and welcome to the Tech Enthusiast channel. In today's video I will show you some major changes in Rounded Taskbar release 3.1. So for you guys who actually don't know what Rounded Taskbar is, is Windows Taskbar customization program. So if I click right here to what's actually new, the first two options which I find quite appealing are to fill the taskbar when a window is maximized and also to fill the taskbar when either Alt Tab or the task switcher is summoned, which also only applies on Windows 11. So if I go to the rounded taskbar settings right away, here we have these two options at the bottom, fill the taskbar when maximized and also fill the taskbar on Alt Plus Tab. If I apply these two options and then I will maximize the window, it should actually fill out the taskbar itself and it looks like default Windows ta taskbar once again. So these are the two the brand new options. Um, and also if I let's say click Alt plus Tab, right now you should also see that we have the field uh, filled our taskbar on Windows 11. Then the third major change is to show the tray when the mouse hovers over it in dynamic mode and split mode. So if I go to the rounded taskbar settings once again, here we have the show system tray on hover and if I enable this feature, you will see that the our system tray is gone and if I hover it once again, you will see that the system tray is actually showing right now. So this is the new feature right here in this version 3.1 of the rounded taskbar and also a uh, dynamic mode will all now also automatically disable if the taskbar runs out of space to display icons. So that means that if you have a lot of icons in your taskbar, taskbar at the moment, so let's say if I have a lot of programs opened or pinned to the taskbar, this should actually now disable the, the dynamic mode and it will um, show the full taskbar as seen on this um, uh, fill the taskbar option right here. So it should look like something like that, the default look of Windows 11. Then we also have the option tray icon now updates when the system theme dynamically. So that means if I let's say go to the settings of the Windows 11, then I will go to the personalization. Here I will let's say change just the color of our uh, system. So here I will choose let's say the dark and this one should actually change the system tray of our uh, rounded taskbar in this brand new release of the uh, of this program so let it automatically decide the color and also this and if i hover once again here uh, on the um, system tray uh, let's say if I enable this one, as you can see, we have the white icon. So previously, if, when I had uh, Windows on light mode, it was in dark color. So this is the brand new uh, addition in this release. Uh, and one thing also is new that um, opening rounded taskbar while on another copy is already running will also now open the app settings. So let, let me close these rounded taskbar settings and if I go to our my um, rounded taskbar location and if I open up once again rounded taskbar this should actually open up rounded taskbar settings. So if I open up this one once again as you can see it works just flawlessly and here we have the rounded taskbar settings once again. Then if I go to the what's new once again here we also have some general performance improvements due to complete refactoring and also many box fix and also there are more uh, introduced box as well. So make sure that if you are using Windows 11 or let's say Windows 10 as well with auto hide enable and you are used to it, this program doesn't actually or isn't supported by auto hide. So make sure you don't use rounded taskbar with this program. So with that said, I hope I explained everything quite well in this video, some major changes in around the taskbar version 3.1 and if I did, like and subscribe to this channel would be much appreciated. And with that said, have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!